Okay, so I'm in a mad rush today. I usually take like two and a half hours to do my makeup. But right now, I'm trying on all brand new products and I only have an hour and 15 minutes. So, I don't know if I can do this, but let's see if I can. Base is already primed with Airborean Extra Matte Mattifying Primer. Today, we have the new Lawless foundations. Okay, so I, I picked two colors because I always like to pick two foundation colors and mix them together to kind of get like my perfect shade. Um, especially when you're ordering online too. So and I also have the Lawless um, Seal the Deal Loose Setting Powder in cla Classic Translucent. See what happens when you're like on edge and very nervous? Okay so the packaging is like super cute. It looks like this. Oh, look how cute. Very nice packaging. Very, very nice. Very fancy. Look at this. I love. It looks like it has a yellowy, like undertone, like the Laura Mercier. It looks just like it. So we'll set that to the side for a moment. So makeup is sexy. Makeup is. You know, you know, that's just really unnecessary. If you guys want to read that, then just read that. I picked the colors Mojave and Pristine. So I don't have time to read packaging right now. So it looks cute. Boom. Unboxing. What the heck? <laughs> Boom. Unboxing. Second unboxing. Oh, yeah. Okay. Don't got time for this. So I'll go more into details later when I get back from my errands, but my boyfriend is going to be extremely upset that he told me to be ready on time, and I'm definitely not going to be ready on time. You guys are going to see me try and get ready as fast as possible, which never happens. This is the fastest that I've moved, and I'm not even moving that fast. Seriously, this is not helping. How many times have I pumped this thing? Hello, okay, there we go. Wow, it, it shoots out very, um, not that much. Interesting. It looks very, um, thick so far. Okay, look, let's just keep, let's keep pumping. Let's just, yep, this is me in a rush. Yep, no big deal. I don't have places to be and things to do. Nope. Let's just... <laughs> Seriously? Are we being serious right now? Oh my god. Is this ever going to come out? I'm not going to edit this later to save time. I really want you guys to see how long I have to pump this for. Oh my god, is this ever coming out? Seriously? It has a perfumey smell to it. It smells... It smells like toner. Like facial toner. Yeah, it smells like facial toner. Interesting. I guess it's supposed to smell like fresh and clean. I don't know. Oh my god, I almost took off my eyebrow because I'm in such a rush. Okay, I think it's actually matching pretty okay. My beauty lights are on a little bit higher than usual or brighter than usual. So maybe it makes me look a little bit ghostly, but this is actually the perfect shade. Hold on, maybe if I blend it in some more, you'll see. It feels very lightweight and really strong smelling though. Not in a bad way. It smells like um, it smells like a Lush product. Like you have Lush products have that strong, like natural, clean, um, some sort of like florally scent type thing going on. That's what that's what this has happening right now. So I smell that. It doesn't bother me, it doesn't smell bad in my opinion, but it smells like, it smells like perfume. Wow, I really like this coverage. It's actually full coverage in my opinion, but it's not like 
thick at all. Usually full coverage foundations are very thick, but this is really, really light and thin viscosity and it's full coverage and it feels very lightweight. Uh, it's not like clogging my pores or making me feel like my skin can't breathe. It has a really nice finish and it's like, it's not a matte finish. I feel like it's like a satin finish, but usually satin finishes look very oily on me and this doesn't, so I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I wish I had more time to like appreciate it right now. Like how much leftover foundation I have in my hand just because it just took forever to like come out of the bottle and then when it did it just like came flying out. This could literally cover like my face. Like this could be another day's worth of foundation. What a waste, what a waste. That just took up like a whole makeup wipe. So I guess my only complaint is the formula is great, but the packaging or the bottles, the pumps or whatever you want to call them, uh, could use a little bit of work. I'm just going to prime my eyes because I don't want to set my face while it's t a little bit too wet. God, I was in such a rush, I totally forgot that I didn't even carve my brows. I normally do with Painterly Paint Pot, not my concealer primer. Oh, this is the ColourPop um, Concealer in Fair 2, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna set with the Lawless Powder and see how it goes. I'm gonna like bake and everything with this. Because if a powder can't bake, it cannot stay in my collection, because... I always have to bake. My first thoughts right now is that this powder isn't like really like blurring any pores or lines or imperfections or anything like that. So, but we'll see at the end of this. I'm not saying I hate the product already. I don't even hate the product. I'm just saying it doesn't seem like impressive so far. Like, you know, powders usually kind of like blend, just like fill in your pores and kind of make you look like seamless and smooth. I don't feel like this is really doing that. I feel like if anything, it's just like accentuating my texture and such. So, I don't know how I feel about this. I'm so far not like... I know this is going to dry a mess and you're wondering if like I know how to bake but for my face, yes I do. I literally have to bake the whole center of my face, like literally the whole thing. Okay, how much time do I have? How much time do I have? Normally I would do this off camera so I wouldn't look so crazy with all this bake on and stuff, but you know what, time is not... Oh my god, I only have 40 minutes. Time is not of the essence right now. 40 minutes for the rest of my face? Oh my god, how am I gonna do that? And this is like new makeup. You wanna kinda like enjoy it. Okay, so I'm using the Natasha, the Natasha Denona Safari palette. I've been so excited for this to come out. I've been seeing it online and swatches and stuff on Trend Mood. I finally got my hands on it. I'm so excited to try it out. So here we go. These are all mattes, so I've never done an all matte look before, so I don't know if I'm gonna do an all matte look or if I'm gonna pop on a shimmer from a different palette. We'll see. I'm actually thinking of just doing an all matte look. So I'm gonna grab a Morphe and Jaclyn Hill JH36 brush. I'm gonna go in with Tamarind right here. It looks literally like Tamarind. If you've ever seen the fruit. It literally looks like that. Oh, there's some kickback. Wow, this is super pigmented. Super pigmented, super blendable, super creamy, and super buttery. I could totally... I mean, I've been told why her um, palettes are so pricey. is because their quality is so good. And, like, she infuses them with, like, something, something. I forgot whatever the Sephora... Um, was trying to tell me to try to explain like why her price point is so high and I definitely see why now this is some good I can already I already feel like this is like a 10 like quality wise 10 I love it it's amazing 
I love how it's going on. Like, I'm not even having to use that much. It's very pigmented, but at the same time, it's blendable and easy to control. So I'm just doing my usual, creating a map for my eye. Like, I always use like a light transition color. This is a little bit darker than I would normally use, but there's a lighter color in the palette that I think would actually be too light. So I always try and map out my flat ass eyes and try and give it some dimension. So my transition color is always like basically at my eyebrows to right underneath my brow bone. I go right up here to my brows and then underneath my eyebrow. Eye bone, eyebrow bone, damn it. I cannot talk. I really debated if I should even, um, I really debated not doing this video and just waiting till later, but I was just so excited. And plus, I just like, I'm going somewhere, you know? So I don't wanna like go somewhere with no makeup, come home and film and put on makeup and then just like take it off, you know? So I really just wanted to like be able to go out and not look as janky. And also, you know, two birds, one stone. Film the video and go out looking like a presentable human being instead of like a homeless person that just like crawled out of bed. I haven't slept for 48 hours. I'm just so tired. I think my voice sounds raspy. I don't know if it sounds raspy to you, but this is definitely raspy for me. This is my first time using this brush and I actually really like it. I think there's one hair that's like shedding and like jabbing into my eye though. Yeah, it is. Aha, did you see him? Did you see him? Yep, he was that guy right there. He's jabbing me. Knew it. Knew I felt something. Okay, I'm gonna just keep using the same brush and I'm gonna pick up, I have no idea how you would pronounce this, Amhara, Amara? This color right here. I'm using the same brush as earlier. I'm just gonna tap it on right underneath the first color. And after I get an even wash, I'm gonna blend it out. This like brush is like really shedding on my eye. And oh my god, I forgot to contour. Ugh. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Tantastic and Morphe brush in M530. Uh, I don't even know why I attempted this video. I just really, really, really wanted to do it and I like low-key wanted to prove to myself and to my boyfriend that like under duress, like if if really need be, I could get ready on time quicker. There's lots of times where he's uh, tried to exclude me from things because he would say, oh, yeah, we're gonna go somewhere, but you know, you're not gonna get ready in time, so you might as well just stay home, so you know. I want to prove I'm wrong that now, if I really wanted to, I could get ready on time. So I'm just going to take Tamarin and um, the other color that I use and just put it on my bottom lower lash line so I can make sure that they stay cohesive and connected as I go along. Wow, there's a lot of kickback in the pan. It definitely reminds me of Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes. Definitely, definitely reminds me of that. Lots of kickback. Lots of kickback. I don't, I wouldn't say it's like powdery, but it's very, lots of kickback. As soon as you just tap your brush into it, like boom. It's like you walked into a room that hasn't been dusted in a while. I'm just gonna take a Morphe R39 and I'm gonna pack on Shea right here at the outer corners. I feel like my look isn't really... Oh my God, look at that pigment. Oh wow. It's not even patchy at all and it doesn't feel dry. Usually dark colors feel a little bit more on the drier side and they actually, um, they usually go on a little bit patchy. Like they're usually harder to work with and blend with and you have to like really pack it in and work with it. But wow, look at that. 
I didn't even I didn't even start blending it. All I did was pack it on, and I only tapped into the pan twice. That's I can see why this is so expensive now. Wow. At least I feel like I got my money's worth. I definitely feel like I didn't get ripped off or anything. I just wish it had came out during the VIB brew sale so that I could have gone 20% off of it. But have you guys noticed that every time that there's a VIB sale, um, of course people go crazy and you know just buy everything that they've been like waiting all year, all month or for a while to get. But did you notice that right after the sale new things drop and you're just like, oh. but I just spent like a boatload of money on the sale and now there's new things coming out and now I want them so now I'm just going to blow even more money. Like doesn't that suck? I feel like it's a total and complete calculated setup. Wow, this color seriously just blends amazing. I don't even if need to keep blending it, but I just keep do doing it just because it just keeps looking better and better. And it's just the fact that it keeps blending. I love it. I'm so sleepy. All this blending is actually making me really want to just like keel over and sleep. That is so weird. Okay. I'm definitely going to have to cut my crease now that I see what I have done to myself. Okay, so I'm going to cut the crease very, very quickly. I'm going to use Painterly Paint Pot if I can find out where- haha, <laughs> found it. Actually that one looks jacked up, don't look at that one. I'm, I'm really rushing and I'm really- my precision is so off. Hold on. This still will look good though. Watch. Just you watch. Let me just go in with that R39 brush and just blend out the harsh edges of that cut. Ah, oh, this brush feels so much better underneath my eye. My Smith brushes, um, I really love them, but for some reason. Ah! Just went to my the bristles like get really dry and like scratchy so I actually like use actual like conditioner like my hair conditioner and once in a while I condition them so that they'll stop feeling that way I'm gonna go in with this like I think I'm gonna mix these two colors right here Lotus and Maasai? Lotus and Maasai. I'm gonna mix these two colors and that's gonna be my lip color. I'm taking a Morphe G10. It's a concealer brush, but I really like it for packing stuff onto the lid. So just a little bit in here. Oh wow. I was gonna try and mix the two colors and I was like a little bit in here, a little bit in here, and oh my god, my brush picked up so much of it. Look how like saturated the brushes it's not even wet or anything amazing well it's matte of course i wouldn't wet it but just like it's very very pigmented i love this i know i'm not really that close to the lash line but i know i'm gonna line my eyes so it's like you know i don't got time for that so it's okay okay so i'm gonna get rid of this harsh line on top a Morphe R34. I'm gonna use Aya to kind of make that line not harsh anymore. Morphe M213 as my brow bone brush, and I'm gonna pick up Malia. I really hope I'm saying all these names right because I really get this feeling that I am not. Oh, it's a very um, pinky undertone, so it's kind of like brightening my brow bone, just like a pinky powder would brighten your under eye. That's very interesting. Okay. Okay. So this is the completed on a rush. First impressions, super so excited that I couldn't help myself and just had to, had to. This is just a clean brush and I just wanna make sure I have no harsh 
edges. This is my first impressions, had to play with it, couldn't help myself, excited kid, just couldn't wait till I got home. Like, this is that look. I'm like so afraid he's gonna call me and say like, oh, come out right now, I'm here. I'm, are you ready? I'm just like so scared to get that call. So scared. Okay, so expect more looks from me with this palette. I'm so excited to play around with it and see all the looks I can create with it. This is just me like being way too excited to not try it out. Yeah, I'm gonna use this super light Makeup Forever blush. I'm gonna grab a Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH06. I'm mostly using her Master Collection right now. So I'm curious to see how it's gonna perform. So far, I like all her brushes. Oh yeah, this is a good color choice. So I'm glad that I picked this color because I'm pretty sure that since it's giving me a little bit of life on my face, but not like, it's not really colorful and overpowering, pretty sure I cannot mess up the lips, hopefully. Ooh, I gotta keep moving faster. Don't get comfortable just because you haven't gotten the call yet. You gotta keep moving as if you do not have time. Like, you, got, you already ran out of time. So I need to tell myself. I need to keep moving as if you already ran out of time. Okay. Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge. Love it for powders. JH07 brush, Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder in Luminous Light, and just put on the apples of my cheeks. I don't like this brush for doing this. Normally I use this NARS blush, but I just wanted to give that brush a try. It was a little bit too, um, dense and synthetic it wasn't like loose and diffuse enough so it wasn't a good brush for that purpose i'm just gonna grab a highlighter that's closest to me because i'm in such a rush becca vanilla quartz is what i'm going to use oh my god i heard like this scary noise and it's my dog He's always like, my dog always follows me everywhere I go, which I love. He's like my little shadow. He's always like falling asleep and just like, it's so cute. He makes like little noises. I love him. Before I put my lashes on, since my face feels so dry, I'm going to put on the Mario Badescu um, facial spray with aloe, herbs, and rose water. Oh my god, that actually feels so much better. Whew. That literally, like, instantly gave me life. Oh my god, the call. The call. You'd be so proud of me. This is like the fastest I've moved like ever in my life. I don't know, but I have to stop it. I'm real fast. And I'll be on. Okay, I'll be done and waiting for you in the lobby by the time you're done with the bank, okay? okay so I don't need to call you? Nope, I will be sitting in the lobby waiting for you. Okay. Okay. Uh, remember bring your stuff or you can to the Yes, I will. It's already ready. Okay, bye. <gasps> I just need lashes. Oh my god. And I hate that lashes is the last step when you're in a hurry because like your lashes will go on funky and stuff like that and you're just like in a panic. But oh my god, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. While well, my lash glue is drying, since my face doesn't look that oily, um, it actually looks very, very dry. I will actually put highlighter on my... I feel like I could use a little bit more highlighter just to make my face look less dry. 
dry. So I'm gonna use the Kylie Jenner Wet Set. Take the Mario Badescu spray. I wet the Morphe sponge. I'm gonna pick up Privacy, please. Still feel like I look really dry. One more, one more spray. Oh, I licked some of it. Ooh. It does not taste as good as it feels, let me tell you. Ooh. Okay, this is my finished look. I gotta go run downstairs before I get in trouble. Gotta throw on some leggings. There's powder all over my shirt. Do I look presentable to society yet? Huh? Huh? Close enough? Close enough? Oh god, I look crazy. I'll fix this in the car. Woo! See you in a little bit.